We now know that the answer to the question, why is life on Earth so varied, is actually the answer to the question, why is the DNA molecule itself so varied? What are the natural processes that cause the structure of DNA to change? Well, part of the answer actually doesn't lie on Earth at all. It lies up there amongst the stars. And I can show you what I mean using this, which is a cloud chamber, a piece of apparatus that has a unique place in the history of physics. I'm going to cool it down using dry ice, frozen carbon dioxide, just below minus 70 degrees Celsius. I put the top on. <whistles> Hear that? That's the metal at the bottom of the tank cooling down very rapidly to minus 70. The cloud chamber works by having a supersaturated vapour of alcohol inside the chamber. Plenty on there. Now, I want to get that alcohol, I want to boil it off to get the vapour into the chamber, so I'm going to put a hot water bottle on top. I mean, this is the first genuine particle physics detector. It's the piece of apparatus that first saw antimatter. And it really does consist only of a fish tank, some alcohol, a bit of paper, and a hot water bottle. There, look at that. You see that cloud, that vapour trail? That's a cosmic ray. That was initiated by a particle, probably a proton, that hit the Earth's atmosphere. It almost certainly originated outside our solar system and was accelerated by the magnetic fields of our galaxy. It may even have begun its life beyond our galaxy. Now, imagine if one of those hits the DNA of a living thing. What that will do is cause a mutation. That mutation may be detrimental, or very, very occasionally, it might be beneficial. And I think it's quite wonderful to imagine that maybe one of the key mutations that were selected for over the millennia that led to some trait in me was caused by some particle that began its life, perhaps in a massive supernova explosion, perhaps outside our galaxy, and went and hit the DNA of something and caused some kind of beneficial mutation. We don't know, but you can dream, can't you?